Windows XP tablet PCs are stepping into the existing world of PDAs, laptops, and other mobile computing in full force. Whether it's taking a deposition, diagnosing a patient, still okay or creating a design, some professionals are already up and running with the new Windows XP tablet PCs, so to speak. If it was a bigger form factor, it would replace essentially everything um, other than my handheld PDA. Yeah, for me, it actually, I think it's replaced the PDA more than anything else. Nick Brown and Doug Loomish, lawyers at Weill, Gotchel and Mangus, have been checking out identical Acer tablets for a few months, but seem to agree on, well, very little. <laughs> it's ideal if you can have all three, you know, the keyboard, the mouse, and the tablet, mm -hmm. all attached to the same computer. Do you find yourself missing a mouse with these? Um, yeah. I would rather that I had a stylus on my laptop and never need a mouse again. I like the feature in Word where you can write a note on a Word document in your own handwriting. So you can mark up a letter or you can mark up a document. The notion of pulling up a document and handwriting on it, I don't find particularly useful. They do agree that Wi-Fi capabilities are key. Most of our critical documents are scanned in and coded and online and searchable in a system. And by being able to carry this with me, I have all those binders and, and practically an entire library of information in this box. They both prefer the convertible tablets that let you switch between keyboard and slate over the slate-only design. And short battery life is an all-around concern. How's the handwriting recognition working for the both of you? I think it works well for ordinary English. It's fairly bad for sort of legalese or people's names, slang. slang. For example, your last name is? Loomish. And it comes up as? Lumpish, regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Law firms aren't the only industry sporting these puppies. Microsoft, tablet PC companies, and the like are banking on the idea that soon everyone, from universities to retail outfits, will be carrying around these tablet PCs. Tablet PCs are really designed for professionals, definitely vertical markets, uh, doctors, lawyers, you know, warehouses, things like that. They aren't really targeted to consumers. I've been using uh, electronic records uh, for seven years now, and uh, I'd never go back purely to paper. Having a, the pen tablet right there where you're seeing the patient and you look up the information is very helpful in figuring out what, to, what you want to do. History, health history, medical history. Health history, history, medical history, what the patient's allergic to, what medicines they're taking, uh, what their problems have been in the past, uh, that sort of information. You have used these so much that you actually developed your own application. Yes. What did your application do specifically? Well, our application is called Chartware and it's used for uh, recording the information about the patient and writing prescriptions, uh, generating orders, uh, lab orders, x-ray orders, referrals to other doctors. Many physicians and other healthcare professionals are, are not especially computer literate. Mm. And so having a natural, easy way for them to enter information or review information which is presented by the pen tablet is a real positive uh, advance. The tablets are also being tested by architectural firms. Some architects believe that their new tablets, loaded with AutoCAD, bridge the present gap between paper and digital technology. They can work naturally and freely without having to think about the technology they're using, which is often the case for many architects when using desktop design applications. I think consumers really actually enjoy the novelty of surfing the web on a tablet PC, but for now I would hold off until there's some, you know, the handwriting recognition and things like that improve. The tablets, ranging from $1,700 to $2,700, aren't cheap. Tech TV tested tablet PCs from Acer, Dell, Fujitsu, and HP, but picked the Toshiba Portage 3500 as the winner because of its large display and full-size keyboard. To find out more details on these tests, head to freshgear.com.